Hello, you guys. It is me again. And I am here to show you a book review. Or at least share my thoughts and opinion on Da Vinci's Tiger by L.M. Elliot, which I purchased or got through the Owl Crate box in the month of December. Now, let me tell you straight, I would have never bought this. <coughs> After reading it, I still would not have bought this. I thought by looking at the cover, looking at the title, this would be about a passionate, intimate love affair between the muse and the young Leonardo da Vinci. I was totally wrong. This has to do with like platonic love, the how the society is portrayed at that time, especially how women was looked at at that time, like as a possession, as a way to reach heaven, or I do not know, but like the things that go on back then and the way people, the way people think their thoughts, it's like, you really think that? And here's Leonardo da Vinci thinking the same way, like, really guys, you really think that? So I really thought there would be more feelings, more passion, more, but there wasn't any. It was more passion for this girl who just wanted to share other people her passion and poetry that it's okay for a woman to be well read, to be knowledgeable in philosophy and, you know, to just be well educated and not having to be possessed by um, by a man, whether it's a, a father, an uncle, a husband, a lover, you know, and, and in the end, it's also about Leonardo also feeling the same way that, that women should not be like thought of as a possession. <sighs> and it just talks about their friendship and a possible, just like a one-sided love that she felt for him. But I mean, other than that, yeah, no feelings, no excitement, nothing. So I don't like to give stars. I decided I'm not going to give stars anymore on books. Because stars, like how do I, how do you give stars to books? Like what, what's the point system? Is like, do you get one point for cover? Do you get like 0.25 for content? I don't know. I don't know how people rate books, but what I can tell you right now for, um, for this book, I would not recommend it. If you are interested in reading this, I would go to the library first and maybe read it. And if you like it and you want to own it, then go ahead and own it. It's, I just wouldn't have spent my money on this. And I'm actually not planning to keep this in my library. I call it my little library, but in my bookshelf because I don't have room for it. And I want to keep, I want to make room for books that I like and that I feel that maybe one day I want to reread it or one day I want my kids to read it. But this book, no, cool. I don't need this in my life anymore. It was enjoyable while it lasted. It was okay. Not memorable. So yeah. So glad I finally finished it so I could finally move on to the next book for the month. And what book will that be? I don't know. We'll see what I pick up later on. But yeah, that is my review. I hope that I did better. Um, I don't really know how to do book reviews, but this is what I got. And this is what I got to give. So yeah, um, I guess that's it. Please like and subscribe and I shall see you guys later. Bye.